going on you guys how you guys doing i am old dog and time pure to chill it's my artist name i'm a recording artist one name three personalities old dog and time purio the chill old dog is kind of like a thug he's a little bit gangster sexually explicit you can't take him seriously he doesn't take himself seriously that is old dog and time is the second term and time is more of who i truly am that's why and time is in the center old dog and time purio the chill and time is all about upliftment education religious studies micro and macroeconomics, world history, geographical studies, philosophy, psychology, sociology, physiology, and things like that. That is anti-imperial. And the last term is the chill. And the chill is a hopeless romantic, all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. This is Diversity Outspoken, you guys. And let's go ahead and get started, you guys. We call this Diversity Outspoken. This, this airs, you guys, Diversity Outspoken, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken or straight to the point about those topics. Diversity Outspoken. Here on Diversity Outspoken, we have one rule and one rule only, and that is that you guys remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and you guys remain respectful of one another. We can agree, we can disagree. Just remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and remain respectful of one another, and everything will be okay. I wouldn't want to block anybody here, but I will if I have to, but I never have to do that with you guys because we're all a big, happy family, and we always respect each other and the environment of Diversity Outspoken. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so... For such a long time, man, I've been getting so many DMs from females um, about my hair. And, you know, um, mostly African-American females, mostly black females, females from Africa also, um, you know, from the islands and stuff like that about my hair. Like, what do you put in your hair? Um, like, what are the products that you use? Like, the shampoo and all, like, what do you use? So I'm going to take you guys through the whole process of how I do my hair. Hopefully it looks good right now. I hope it looks good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it, it would be terrible if I'd be doing like a hair, <laughs> like, like a hair diversity outspoken <laughs> and like my hair looked terrible, but hopefully it looks okay. I hope it looks all right. All right. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to hear about his hair. His hair looks horrible. Why would I do? <laughs> so hopefully it looks okay. But, um, Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to be real quick. We're going to breeze right through this, you guys. So I call this, this episode for the Diversity Outspoken, this is called My Sisters, My Queens, My Hair, all right? Because it's all about our hair, man. It's a lot of time for a lot of us, it's kind of difficult. So I have some product. I have exactly what I use. Exactly what I use. I have it to the side. Um, what's going on, M? I see you, sister. Exactly what I use. I have it to the side. So, all right, so all my sisters. Okay, so first of all, what I do, so most of the time, you guys, just because like my fingers are big, it's kind of hard to like braid down to the ends. You know what I'm saying? So being as hard to braid down to the ends most of the time, um, I will put the, like the little black rubber bands in the end, like you see here. You see the little black rubber bands, little black rubber bands. You know what I'm saying? Little black rubber bands in the end or whatever. Um, but sometimes you won't see those because I'll braid all the way down to the end. It's just then my fingers be too big for all when I get down to the end, end, end. But anyway, so that's that. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'll um, you know unbraid my hair. I'll unbraid my hair. Then after I unbraid my hair, I'll go wash it. All right, so I unbraid it and then go straight and wash it. All right, so I wash it. When I go wash it, um, I usually use olive oil. And I have it here, the olive oil shampoo. So I use olive oil shampoo. All right, olive oil shampoo. Okay, so I got the olive oil shampoo. Boom. So wash it with the olive oil shampoo. Olive oil shampoo. Um... First of all, I'm not endorsing any company or anything like that. This is just like what I use. Um, and for as far as like the olive oil shampoo, it doesn't have to be like this particular company. Anything that's like olive oil shampoo. I just like anything that has olive oil in it. So olive oil shampoo. Right? So anything that just, I walk in, whatever it says olive oil and it says shampoo, grab it. <laughs> all right? So olive oil shampoo. Now, sometimes I will condition, sometimes I won't. Most of the time, I will condition. But sometimes, you guys, I won't condition. Sometimes, I won't. Sometimes, I'll just do the shampoo. And then from the shampoo, I will... Okay, so there's two kind of two different things I do. All right, so if it's a full... If I'm doing the full, the full thing, right? Unbraided, olive oil shampoo wash, olive oil condition. All right? If I'm in a hurry, I don't do the condition. 
if I'm in a hurry, I uh, unbraided olive oil shampoo wash, then I'll go straight to greasing from the shampoo. I won't even blow dry it. This is this is if I'm doing the quick, if I'm doing the if I'm in a hurry. Unbraided olive oil shampoo. And then from the olive oil shampoo, oh y'all see my nails? My nails so clean. Y'all, my teeth, my teeth clean, my hair, my hair look pretty neat. My nails, my nails so clean. It's all good. But um I'll do the olive oil, this is what I'm doing quick. I'll do the olive oil shampoo, unbraided olive oil shampoo. After I do the olive oil shampoo, you guys, I will um <clears throat> It'll be wet. I won't even blow dry it. Then I'll grease the parts. I'll part it and grease it. So I like I'll part it here, 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 here. Just like all throughout my hair. I'll part it and I'll grease it. And I grease it with sulfur 8 grease, which I was going to get to in a second. But I grease it with sulfur 8 grease. While it's still wet. Like similar, like I'll dab it. You know, I'll dab it kind of like, so that is not like, like it's dripping wet. But I'll dab it. Um, then I'll grease it with sulfur 8 grease. You know what I'm saying? So unbraid it. Shampoo, olive oil shampoo, part it and grease it. Like like all type of parts. Not just this part in the middle, but like, you know, like part it and grease it. Females know what I'm talking about. You part, grease, part, grease, like all type of parts all over your head. I'll part it and grease it with sulfur 8 grease. After I part it and grease it with sulfur 8 grease, I just braid it and that's it. Now go. That's like if I'm in a hurry. So if I'm in a hurry, unbraid it, olive oil shampoo. Dab it, and I like don't blow dry it. I'll dab it, sulfur eight grease, and all the parts. I'll part it in multiple parts, like 20 different parts. You know how that goes, whatever 10, 20 different parts. Sulfur eight in the parts, and then I'll braid it and be gone. That's the short one. Now, if I'm doing the full, which the last time when I did this, I did the full. All right, so it probably looks a little bit better because I did the full. The full is I unbraid it, I wash it, so, um, olive oil shampoo. Olive oil conditioner. And like I said, it doesn't have to be this company. It could be anything. Anything that says olive oil, I'll use. All right? So olive oil shampoo, olive oil conditioner. Boom. Hair is being washed. Shampoo. Rinse it out. Condition. Shampoo first. Rinse it out. Condition. You know what I'm saying? Rinse the condition out. Boom. I don't really use leave-in conditioner. I don't use leave-in conditioner. So I use regular rinsing conditioner that you rinse out. All right, so I've done my shampoo. I've done my conditioner. I have to do my shampoo and conditioner. The next thing I do is, if I'm doing the full, I'll go blow dry it, you guys. But what I do is, then I'll, I'll do the oil. I'll do an oil treatment. So I'll do the oil in the hair. Then I'll put the shower cap over the hair, right? While the hair is still, you know, wet, you know what I'm saying? I just got from here, I just got finished washing it with the olive oil shampoo, olive oil, con olive oil shampoo, olive oil conditioner. Um, then I'll dab it dry, but not dry it. Dab it dry a little bit so it's still wet, right? Then I'll put oil treatment in it. Now I'll show you what oil treatment is in a second. I'll put oil in it, okay? And then when I put the oil in it, I'll put a shower cap over it and let the oil sit in the hair, the wet hair, put the shower cap over it then I'll go under a dryer, and let, like one of those dryers that come over your head, and I'll let the shower cap sit there. I'll sit there, man, probably like 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like 20 minutes, like a long time. So these are the oil treatments. I use many different ones. Um, doesn't matter. So I use. So I have five here. So the first two I have here. This is coconut oil. This is olive oil. Y'all know coconut oil is always good. You know what I'm saying? So coconut oil, olive oil. I'll use these two. Um, I'll use one, but I won't use both at the same time. I'll, I'll pick one. I I just go through them, right? So like one time when I do my hair, I might do coconut oil. The next time I'll do olive oil. You see what I'm saying? I'll do olive oil. Um, coconut oil, olive oil. Here's another one. Here is uh, tea tree oil. Okay, this is tea tree oil. I'll use that sometimes. Coconut oil, olive oil, tea tree oil, right? Here is um, this is the jojoba oil, all right? I use that sometimes, okay? Every once in a while, all right? I use that. And here, y'all know, shout out to all the Jamaicans out there. Y'all know the Jamaicans be having the great hair. Um, here's Jamaican black castor oil. Jamaican black castor oil. I'll use that sometimes also. So it just depends, you guys. This, I mean, this right here goes, <coughs> doesn't really matter too much. Um, 
but it just depends. Most of the time, though, it's either the olive, the coconut oil, or the, or the olive oil. Most of the time, it's either the coconut oil or the olive or, or the olive oil. And I'll use it so my hair is damp, right? So I washed it. Um, olive oil shampoo, olive oil conditioner. I kind of, you know, damp. It's kind of damp. You know, what I'm saying I kind of like just dry it a little bit so it's not dripping. Then I'll put the oil in. Well, my hair is all messed up, right? Wet. I'll put the oil in. I'll put a pretty good amount, right? I'll put a pretty good amount. You know what I'm saying? You don't want all your hair to just be oil, but I'll put a pretty good amount. That way, you guys, after I blow dry it and everything like that, um, you see it still looks like, you know, it still kind of looks like shiny and oily and, you know what I'm saying? So you want to put a pretty good amount when you're doing this so that when it's done and even though my hair is dry and everything like look at my braid it's still shiny and oily you know what i'm saying so um so that's kind of how that goes so most of the time either coconut oil or olive oil i do an oil treatment um after i do the oil treatment right remember i have the shower caps there the oil shower cap under the dryer for about 20 minutes after i do that the next thing that I do is I'll get out from under the dryer, take the shower cap off. I'll go and um, I'll either finish blow drying it. Sometimes I'll finish blow drying it while I brush it a little bit, maybe. Um, or I'll just finish, like, you know, if I have any dampness left. What's going on, Mota? How you doing, sister? I see you. It's all good. If I have any um, dampness left after I blow dry it, um, what I'll do is... I will I'll comb it, but I'll blow dry it, I have dampness left, then I'll I'll grease it. So I use a couple different things, right? So the first thing that I use um is this. And this is a hair lotion. So it's kinda like it's like a greenish thing. It's kinda like a um they call it hair lotion. It's supposed to kinda like ease your hair and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Kinda like moisturize in a way or whatever you know wait let me see what it says right it says uh infused with castor oil castor oil right which is one of the ones i have over here all the oil treatment right so infused with castor oil and um you know it just like promotes healthy hair basically so i'll use the hair um lotion and so what i'll do is now i'll i'm back from you know from the dryer with the oil treatment you know what i'm saying so what i'll do is i'll start to part my hair in all different types of parts all throughout my head like like man 15 parts on this side you know what I'm saying and 15 parts on this side right and then in the parts kind of like, like the part you see here but it just be like a lot of little parts like going through my hair and then in the parts I'll put the hair lotion okay I'll put the hair lotion now to lock down I use this some I don't use this every time though okay this remember this is what I'm doing the full thing so I'll do the hair lotion after I do the hair lotion to lock down the hair lotion, like the hair lotion goes first, but to lock it down, like I'll use then grease. Okay, I'll use grease. All right. Now, the sulfur eight is my go-to. This one I use every time, every single time. If I'm doing the short one, the long one, I'm doing. I use this every single time. The sulfur eight. This is like my go-to. I've been using this for years and years and years and years and years. Okay, this right here, this Indian hemp, um, this Indian hemp um, um, grease right here is something that I use most of the time. So I'll use them together. Now, I, even if even if like I'm in a hurry and I don't use the Indian hemp, I always use the Sulfur 8 used. It. Sulfur 8 is my like go-to, go-to grease. But what I will do is I will use both of them. So I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll open up both of them, right? And then I'll dip my, my finger. Let me see if I can hold both of these so it makes sense. Um, I'll, I'll open up both of them, right? So then what I'll do is I'll dip my finger in one and then the other. And then I'll grease the part. So I'll be one and then the other so they're mixed together. And then I'll grease whatever parts I have. So they're together. So it's kind of like they work double in a way. You know what I'm saying? So I'll do that. But I always, um, if, I, if I do use the hair lotion though, I use this first. And then I kind of like, since grease is heavier, I'll, I'll use this first and then I'll use the grease over the lotion. Like so the lotion will go first and then I'll use these two greases over the lotion because the grease is heavy. So I feel like the grease will lock the lotion in, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I did it the opposite way, 
if I were to use the lotion um, last, so let's say if I were to use the grease first in the part, if I use the grease in the part, and then I use the lotion after the grease, I feel like the lotion is not heavy enough, it won't even get to my head. So it'll be like a waste. Because the grease is so much heavier. So it'll weigh the lotion down. So I use the lotion first because the lotion's more light. It's lighter. So I use the lotion first and then I use both greases to weigh the lotion in and kind of keep the lotion. It kind of locks the lotion in or whatever. So I use the, the lotion first then the greases. All right. And then after I do that and grease my whole head, um, the last thing that I do, I'll braid it. That's when I braid it. And then after I braid it, I just put on um, gel, you guys. Just clear gel. Just clear gel. I just put on gel. Any type of gel, you know, just clear gel. I don't use like the brown gel or the green gel or anything like that. Only because, you know, with the, especially with the brown gel that people use in their hair, the brown gel. Um, you know, a lot of, like, if you start to sweat and stuff like that, and it starts, like, your hair starts to, like, you know, like, you know, get sweat, you sweat a lot, it starts to drip. The, that brown gel will drip brown on your shirt and stuff like that. So I use clear, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to worry about that. So I use a clear gel. Um, sometimes I use sheen a little bit before I use the gel sometimes. Um, but I use the clear gel, you guys. And I'll just gel, I'll put the gel on the hair. Um, and I'll put the gel some on the braids sometimes, every once in a while. But I use the gel. And that's the last thing I do. And that's it. That's it. So, quick review. So, um, first thing I do, unbraid my hair. Olive oil shampoo, olive oil conditioner. After that, my hair is wet. Um, rinse my hair, right? Olive oil shampoo, rinse out the shampoo. Then olive oil conditioner, rinse out the conditioner. <laughs> While my hair is still wet, I kind of dab it with the towel, dab it, dab it, dab it, so it's like semi-wet. Then I use the oil treatment. Remember, there's many different types, but the ones I, I use mostly are either the um, coconut oil or the olive oil. And so, while the hair is semi-wet, I'll just put the oil all over the hair. You know what I'm saying? Put the oil all over the hair. I mostly use coconut oil or olive oil, but sometimes I will use like Jamaican black castor oil. Um, I will use the tea tree oil, and sometimes I will use the uh, jojoba oil, okay? Um, as I do the oil in my hair, when it's kind of semi-wet, I'll put a shower cap over it. I'll sit under a dryer, the dryer that comes overhead. I'll sit under a dryer for about 20, 25 minutes um, for a pretty long time. And then when I take the dryer off, take the shower cap off, my hair's kind of semi-dry, and the shower cap kind of like locked in the oil a little bit. And so um, my hair will still be kind of wet. Then I'll go, I'll blow dry it while I brush it, right? I'll either do that or I'll just kind of like dab it a little bit more so it kind of gets really dry. Um, after I do that, I'll put on hair lotion. I'll part it in like all little type of parts, man, probably like 15 parts on each side of my head. I'll part it in all type of parts possible. This is a part, you guys. This is a part, but it'd be like parts going it's like sideways all over my hair. I'll part it, put the lotion. After I put the lotion, I will um, use probably both of these greases. So for eight is all is my go-to go-to, and I will always use. I also use sometimes the Indian hemp um, grease. Okay, and I'll use both of them at the same time. I will um, dab, put my finger in one, get a whole bunch of grease, grease out of the hemp. They'll be mixed together. Then I'll put the in the parts. Okay, over the um, lotion which I, I put first. So first I put the lotion, then I put, I dab into one grease, into another grease, then I put the grease on top of the lotion. I do that, then sometimes I'll, I'll use um, spray, like, you know, spray, spray, just like make it a little bit shiny, and then I'll use um, clear gel. And that's what I do, you guys. And after that's done, this is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get. Kind of shiny, kind of shiny. You know what I'm saying? Looks good and laid back. Um, I appreciate it, you guys. You know what I'm saying? You guys, uh, that's what it is. So to all my sisters, my queens, my hair, our hair. You know, our hair, Um, it is what it is, man. You know, it's a, it's a work, man. You know, get to work at our hair just to make sure that it looks, you know, good and, and clean and, and pretty, Um, you know, whenever we can. So hope this helps you guys out. Like I said, I, I, I'm answering this. I did this because I got a whole bunch of DMs about it. Um, 
all type of females just asking me, you know, my process of what I do with my hair um, when I do things with my hair. So that's that, you guys. All right. Creep Show Bruhita. I see you. It's all good. It's all good. We're almost out of here, but good to see you. But that's what it is, you guys. I appreciate it. I am Old Dog Anti Imperial to Chill. That is my artist name. I'm a recording artist, you guys. One name, three personalities. Old Dog Anti Imperial to Chill. Old Dog's kind of like a little bit thug. He's a little bit gangster. Old Dog is sexually explicit, but he's a clown. You can't take him seriously. He doesn't take himself seriously. That is Old Dog. It's all good. It's all good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, the second term is Anti Imperial. You know I love you, Creep Show Brujita. My beautiful witch, it's all good. She's the most beautiful ever. You guys, anti imperial is the second term. Anti imperial is more in, in, in touch with who I truly am. That's why anti imperial is in the center. Old dog, anti imperial, the chill. Anti imperial is all about upliftment, education, international political science, micro and macro economics, philosophy, psychology, physiology, sociology, and things like that. That is anti imperial. And the last term is the chill. And the chill is a hopeless romantic, all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. And I love my creep show, Bujita. It's all good. Um, this is Diversity Outspoken, you guys. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken or straight to the point about those topics. Here on Diversity Outspoken, we have one rule and one rule only, and that is that you guys remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and you remain respectful of one another. We can agree, we can disagree, just remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and remain respectful of one another. I wouldn't want to block anybody here, but I will if I have to, but I never have to do that with you guys, because we're all a big happy family here, and we're always respectful. Every day I do a daily historical post, you guys. What's going on, Brian underscore Wab? I see you. W A B. It's all good. We're almost done here, but good to see you. Every day I do a daily, daily historical post, you guys. So if you guys ever get bored or just want to see what happened on that particular day, going back decades, going back centuries, or going back thousands of years, you guys can check out my daily historical post, you guys. I post those on Instagram and TikTok every single day. It's much better on Instagram because Instagram gives me the space to be as detailed as possible, but I do post those on TikTok nevertheless. In order to get in touch with me on Instagram or TikTok, you can get in touch with me at anti underscore imperial. You see it right here on the shirt at anti underscore imperial. Don't get that underscore on Instagram and TikTok at anti underscore imperial on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget that underscore, you guys. You need that underscore on Instagram and TikTok. On YouTube, the only difference between Instagram and TikTok and YouTube is that in YouTube, there's no underscore. So on YouTube, you guys, subscribe to my YouTube is anti-imperial with a space in between. Anti-imperial with a space in between. That's the YouTube. It's Instagram and TikTok, there's the underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. It's all good, you guys. That's the only difference between YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Now, y'all know I'm crazy. Y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> it's all good, you guys. You guys, if you have me on Instagram, the easiest way to subscribe to my YouTube is to go to my Instagram bio page or IG bio page. You guys know on Instagram, we all have an Instagram or IG bio page. And on that Instagram or IG bio page, we get that one line for a link. And that one line for a link will always be my latest video. So if you have me on Instagram, you can go to my Instagram or IG bio page, click that link, that video will come up, it will be a YouTube video, and once that video comes up, all you have to do is go ahead and hit the subscribe button at that particular time, you'd be subscribed, you guys, and I'd appreciate that. Also, you guys, if you are watching this on YouTube, this will be uploaded onto YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, my Instagram and TikTok links will be down in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, my Instagram and TikTok links will be down in the description below. Love you, Creep Show. Love you, Brian. It's all good. What's going on, Miss Six? I see you. We're almost out of here, you guys. I appreciate it, you guys. What's going on, Miss Six? Good to see you, sister. It's all good. I appreciate it, you guys. I am Old Dog and Time Period to Chill. You guys know I love you. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world, you guys. You guys take care. Thank you for joining me. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you guys. Take care.